the crafting friends Tracy here with Sweet Bay Lane I'm so glad that you stopped in for this craft because it was just plain old fun have you ever done a craft that you when you're done you're just like Wow, that was so much fun, and the end product is just stunning. Well, that's this craft for me, and I couldn't wait to share it with y'all. So let's go ahead and get started. This DIY was so much fun to make, and here are some of the main supplies you'll need from the Dollar Tree. You'll need some of their plastic wine glasses, a set of their larger jingle bells, along with some of this wired jute twine from their floral department. And we start by cutting the plastic stem off of the base of our wine glass. Once we get that cut, I just used a little handsaw for mine. Then you're going to come in with some sandpaper and just smooth the edges of the plastic. That looks so beautiful already. But now we're going to come in and we're going to spray paint our glass. I'm going to be using this matte hammered finish by Rust-Oleum that I purchased at Home Depot. And I think that finish is gorgeous by the way. Now we're going to come in and we're going to take a chip brush and some white paint, just some white simple acrylic paint, and we're just going to dry brush the outside of our wine glass. making sure to highlight the bottom of our wine glass. That looks perfect. Now we're gonna move on and we're gonna bring back in our jingle bells. And for this, we just need the pack of jingle bells. We'll need some of this jute twine along with a wooden bead. And we start by stringing one of the jingle bells onto our jute twine then threading both ends of the jute twine up through our wooden bead. Once we have our ends threaded up through our wooden bead, we're then going to measure the depth that we would like our jingle bell to sit inside of our wine glass. Then we're going to tie it in a knot at the top of our wooden bead. Now this next step is a little tricky. Just be careful. You're going to put some hot glue on top part of the bead and then you're going to stick it inside of your wine glass. Just making sure not to touch that hot glue. Actually, in retrospect, I should have used a pair of tongs. I think that would have been a much better option. But then you're left with this gorgeous little bell inside. Now we're going to move on and we're going to bring back in our wired jute twine and we're going to wrap the top part of our wine glass. We're going to do a few wraps around, then we're going to make a little loop on top of our wine glass and then continue wrapping around to kind of make a hanger for our wine glass. And it helps when you get to the step where you're going to make your loop above your wine glass to just add a touch of hot glue at the little bend there and then you can continue on making your hanger and then wrapping it around. Hey my crafty friends, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see so far because we would love to have you here at Sweet Bay Lane. And once we have our jute wire snipped and secured, we're then left with this beautiful vintage bell. I think these would make perfect filler ornaments for a large tree. 
but I'm going to be turning mine into a set of three that are going to be dangling from this jute rope. I purchased this jute rope from the Dollar Tree and I just start by taking a piece of the jute rope, wrapping it through the top part or the hanger part of our bell, and then I just secure it with some of the thinner jute twine. And then once I had all three of my bells secured to their rope pieces, I then took all three rope pieces and secured them together with the twine. And then you're left with this gorgeous set of three bells. Now you could also make this a little bit bigger too and maybe use five or seven bells. I think that would be pretty too. Well, I hope this inspires you to make some of these for yourself. And if you're still in the Christmas spirit, go ahead and click on this playlist coming up. I can't wait to see you there. And until next time, keep it crafty.